Hello, influencers. How are we doing? Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening from wherever you're watching me. That was Pastor Gandhi. Allow Ah, the show of Obama show. Actually, he he will now be known as His Imperial Majesty. Mm -hmm. His Imperial Majesty of Afolabi Gandhi. Allow ye. The Obama Gege the third. Yes, of Obama show land. All right, people. I know you have questions, and so do I. <laughs> questions. So this video is going to be about asking questions. So please do me well, do me good to just let me know your comments, your answers, the answers to the questions we will be, uh, we will be addressing in this video. How are you doing people? This is another interesting edition of No Host Bible with IT. My name is Itun. This is no host by with IT. This is the channel where we say the way it is. No apology to any bugger. So, are we on a lot of... Okay, in case you don't know. Uh, Pastor Gandhi, allow you, was... Can we now refer to him as was a pastor? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me know in the comment section because I said all this... I mean, this video will be about questions questions because i know a lot of people have questions so do i my heart is burning with a lot of questions when he became the show designate some months back i dropped the video uh i raised questions so like other people to raise and are still raising so we're going to be answering a lot of questions right so yeah so, Pastor Gandhi, allow me. I say, well, can we now refer to him as was a pastor, or can we still refer to him as a pastor? So, he was a pastor. Okay, for the purpose of this video, he was a pastor with the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Jesus House, D.C. A very senior pastor at that. And then suddenly, another he said another duty called, and so he had to go tell uh, the Jew Pastor Dibui about it and that the Jew said okay if you are uh, born to be king why not if not and so this last few days he was installed as the show of Obomo show um yeah a, a few if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. If you are yet to subscribe, please click that subscribe button. And then let me know your comments in the comment section. So number one, um, in the video, I, 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 I in my, on my Yoruba channel, some, like some of the questions that are burning in the hearts of people, including I, myself, me and myself, one of the, the major thing here, it is good to serve your people and all that. But one of the thing, the major thing is that will because it's gonna begin the traditional rights. All right. Those traditional rights, does it does it uh, mix well with him being a pastor, that's a question in everybody's lips. In my Yoruba channel, some 
months back, I come on lady actually, I've not had time on that channel for a long time. <laughs> I discussed some taboos that uh, I'm a Yoruba girl. I discussed some taboo that surrounds ownership in Yoruba land. And in those days, please let me know if you are from the royal family in Yoruba land. Back in those days, when an Oba dies, literally, they will say he entered the roof. Anyway, he entered the roof, he, did, he died, right? Okay. It was, uh, note, it was uh, of note that his heart will be removed. That's, that, was, that was part of the right. His, his heart, I mean his heart, human heart, will be removed and cooked and prepared and when the next over comes on board it is said that they will give him this heart to eat like eat chop <laughs> now eat to to become king to ascend the throne in Yoruba language it's O Jehoba. He ascended the throne. To eat, Yoruba will say O Je. You get my point? So to ascend the throne and to eat something is we use the same word with the same spelling and everything to describe it. Je O Je he ate. O Jehoba. He ascended the throne. So in those days, they say that they will give this new king the heart of the late king for him to eat, literally eat, as in chop, like you eat food. And after they will ask him, what did you just eat? And he will say, Mujeoba. They will ask him, Kiloje, meaning, what did you just eat? And we say, Mujeoba. I ate the king. I become the king. I, I ascended the throne. Don't forget, I told you, Je Oba and Je Onje food. Is, je is used for both. Now, if you are a uh, Yoruba person in the house and you are from the royal family and you know this call, you are. You know, you are deep in this. Do they still do that? I know a lot of things has changed. Do they still do that? And if they do, for someone like Pastor Lawe Gandhi, will he now je oba? <laughs> will he now chop the heart? One. Please let me know in the comment section. Reach out if you know more about this, you know. The elders in the house, let us know. So, he, let me not let me the, the, the scripture that says in uh, 2 Corinthians 6 14, is it 6 14 now? Yes, 2 Corinthians 6 14 that said, Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. A lot of time when we this when it is this when this Bible passage is discussed in church, uh they will talk about marriage, don't marry an unbeliever and all that and all that. And they will go to the extent of saying do do business with unbelievers. The thing is that this scripture is saying that is Christ himself said we are in the world, but we are not of the world. Alright? For this scripture, what this scripture is saying is that don't let their values be your value. Don't let your belief be their belief, be your belief. If you say you won't interact with people of the world, who will you interact with? We're not be going on the street and people have to know you say we'll be we'll be kabashi, we'll be speaking in front. That's fake. We interact with people. We do business with unbelievers. That's the truth. If you say you don't want to do business with unbelievers, then you won't buy anything in the store. You won't buy anything in the markets. It's as simple as that. But don't let their value be your own. 
Don't let what they believe in be your own. For Pastor Gandhi now, has he not mixed with them? These rights that we're talking about, will he not do them? If there are things that are supposed to be done, if you want to be king, you must do them. Now, there, there, there are a lot of rights that is, you know, that 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 happens when you buy when you if either you buy or no you buy or anything. Let me just allow you to subscribe to this channel, like, share, and let me know your thoughts. It's going to be interesting today and very hot. You know me, I will not hold anything back. Let's go there. So much for doing that in that video clip you watched <laughs> i had someone say kami is a joko a joko sit down <laughs> i think kami is need to me to begin to learn some palace etiquette he's been pastor for about 30 years so he's used to standing and preaching so he didn't even know he stood up and he was talking to the people Someone was saying, Kami is a joke, but you sit down. <laughs> he didn't sit down. So I think Kami is in need to learn some palace etiquette. You are supposed to sit down in your, you know, in your royal majesty. And, you know, you get, begin to talk to the people, okay? So palace people, please begin to, you know, begin to put him through some of these things. It's new anyway. So now, more seriously, let me show you another video. Before then, let's just continue to interact. Now, I was saying this interruption with unbeliever and all that. Obuma show is a, I mean, everywhere, all over the world, this mix, there is diverse. But it is said that there are more Muslims in Obuma show than Christians. So, although he has said that he is not there to to change anybody, he's not going there as an evangelist. He said it in an interview that he's not going there as an evangelist. He's not going there. He's, he, he, said, he said in an interview that a, a, a pastor and an evangelist, they are not the I mean, they are, they are different. They are not the same thing. Okay, so he's now saying that, okay, he's not going there as an evangelist. So he's not going there to convert anybody. He's not going there to evangelize, all right? So he's just going there to serve as a shepherd, yes. He said a, a pastor is a shepherd, we know that. So if you, I mean, he said a sheep consists, we have white sheep, black sheep, yellow sheep, all sorts of colors. But then, will you now say, uh, as a shepherd of these people, their values, like I said in that scripture, is different from yours. What you believe in is not the same as what they believe in. Would there not be clash of interest? As I said, this video is going to be questions, questions upon questions. Would there not be clash of interest? If this people now say, yeah, say this is tradition, we are doing traditional as this thing, maybe this is a traditional week, for instance, in the city, and this is what you are supposed to do as a king. Will you now say, no, you can't do it because it is not in the tenets of Christianity? Won't they ask you that, okay, since you know that you cannot do these things that is uh, traditional, why did you agree to come and be their shepherd? Why will you not believe, why will you not take part in, in what they believe in? Let me allow you to watch another video and I'll come back and we'll discuss. I'm trying to look for it. What's this cancel? I'm trying to look for it so that you 
can see. Let's let's go. <laughs> something right. I'm sorry. Hold on. I want to put those two together. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's not good. We should watch that one. There's another one I'm looking for actually. A lot of people have asked me what is the interface between being a senior pastor and becoming king, a prominent ruler in a place like Kubo. Please help us define the interface. Um, my dad never told me the path to take the throne. He never sat me down that I can do. If you want to become a king, this is what you He never did. Yeah. So I believe he, he felt that I, I've gone a completely different direction. Different path. And that um, I was never going to be interested in it. And uh, he tried to be in 1940, but he was not able to. Um, so, have I, have, have I always known that after Ajagumba, the, the shown before, it was coming to Laomi, which is my family. I've always known. You've always known that? Oh yes, we've always known because <clears throat> the Obumasho chieftaincy is very, very regulated, very easy. Five families. Uh, by rotation. Yeah, and it's by rotation. And after Ajagmadi, it is Lao. Okay. And of course, I'm Lao. So I've always known it's coming to our family. But I was never interested in it. I mean, because I've got a completely different direction. But I said I shouldn't say that. The general Vasyaf said, Royalty will bring it from heaven. From heaven. And you yeah. understand? So that since yeah. you are born into that royal family, that's it. That spoke to me that you are born for this. Amen. This is the reason for your birth. And the only thing I told the Lord is that, God, if it is you, I will do nothing about this process. Mm. Let it happen without me manipulating, doing anything for anybody. And the process is on progressively. Don't... Okay, so he said, he said, you had him there, he said, he will not stress on anything, he will not pursue anything. If it is the will of God, it will just be. For the record, there is a suit, there is a case on this thing, on this, um, on this, some, some, some persons in his own ruling house, the Olawe ruling house, has gone to court, and the case was adjourned till tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, September 12th. Mm -hmm. The, 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 the court has restrained the state government, not, you know, state government, the state government usually gives the staff of the office to, you know, a king designates. Uh -huh. So the court restrained the government from giving, restrained them, restrained, uh, Lord, I mean, King Simeka from installing Pastor Gandhi Olawi as the shown. Mm -hmm. The case has been, was adjourned till tomorrow, September 12th. But look at what happened. He has been installed. What happened? What, what, what? It, 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 Nigeria has now become a place where nobody really bother about the rule of law. I would have loved it so much if Pastor Gandhi had waited, all right, because as a pastor, as a child of God, as an influencer, you want to do the right thing. And like he said in that interview that he will not press for anything, he will not pursue anything, he will not. You know. But the case has not been decided yet, it's been installed. For me, please let me know in the comments. You know, I said this is going to be a lot, there are going to be a lot of questions for me to show good example, to, you know, to let people out there know that, hey, this is not a joy, that I have fear. Why not allow the court to finish its own, uh, whatever they're doing before the installation? That's my just, that's just my thought. So, now that it, uh, it's, it is good if we have more of, um, more of, um, pastors or, and all that 
in place more of good people, you know, in places of authority, not only politics alone. But huh, where do we how how do we just oppose tradition with someone that has that um, that has a call of God upon his life? How are you going to balance? How are you going to balance the two? How? I don't know. There are, even in politics, there are some people that want to go into politics that they, they will be like, hey, politics is a dirty game. You don't, you don't just mess yourself up with Nigerian politics and all that, you know. Because there are a lot of things that goes into this thing, except if we want to deceive ourselves. You see that you, you join, if you don't join them, how do they say it? If you is it that you join them or you know something like that, you just cannot be on the fence. This man has said a lot of time that um, that the Jews said, Pastor Adibo is saying, go ahead and all that and all that. Yeah, if you if you go to uh, Pastor Adibo and say this is what you want, you're an adult. There is no way you will say you will not say no. Don't go and do that. I mean, if it's what you want, I mean, it's not, it's not, he cannot load anything over you and say, okay, no, don't do that. So, please, people, let me know uh, your thoughts in the comment section. And in his church in uh, Jesus' house a few days ago, I mean, they did, they done it over and all that and all that. And so, he's now Ogumosho based. Um, let's see how it plays out. I don't know what's going to happen concerning the court case. Whatever I'm able to gather, I will definitely, trust me, I will be the first to let you know. And um, hmm, we, just, we just hope for the best for him because it's a lot. It's a lot. There's a saying that uneasy lies a hair that wears a crown. The kinship thing in Yoruba land is not, anywhere, anywhere in Nigeria, either Yoruba land or anywhere, it's not, it's not a, a small thing. Please subscribe, I mean, subscribe to this channel, give this, give this video thumbs up. I've always said if anywhere you watch YouTube videos about my channel, you know, just give thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It's a way of you telling YouTube that, hey, recommend this video to other people thank you so much for doing that so i'm going to see you again very soon i told you a few days ago i'm going to be seeing you more i'm going to be, going to be seeing more of me these days because things are easy enough gradually we thank god for that so let me know your comments your thoughts in the comment section what do you think how do you think this will play out was it i saw a comment somewhere online in this so if this man arrived or more sure on Thursday in the private chopper. He's a big guy, really. So I saw a comment when people dis were discussing this court case that there's a pending case in court and somebody said, oh, dollar has exchanged hands. What do you think? Do you think? <laughs> I told you, it's going to be a lot of questions. Do you think dollar has exchanged hands between who and who? Who took dollar? Who gave dollar? Let me know your comment in the comment section. I'm going to take it very soon. Take care of yourself and take care of one another. I love you. Bye for now. God bless.